What is going on fellow web developers? My name is Tyler Potts and in today's video I wanted to go for a new product I have in my mitts from BenQ again. So in a previous video on I think it was Tuesday I did a product review of the BenQ light bar. Now the light or the screen bar, sorry. Um, and it is absolutely awesome. It was really cool and it really has helped my eyes. But BenQ have also sent me the Screen Bar Plus. Now, the Screen Bar Plus has a couple of different things and actually it solves the only one issue I had with the Screen Bar, which was the touch controls on top. This time it actually has a dial which sits on your desk, doesn't take up much room at all and it's absolutely awesome. So, I want to uh, show you this. Show you the box quickly. It's a really cool box. Once again, packaged amazingly. Uh, and let me just quickly open this up before I roll a intro skit, which will show off the actual product on top of my monitor as well. So here you go. I'm just going to open it up once again. Packaged really goddamn well. It's so nice. It's just well packaged. Um, I've already used this one, so I'm actually repackaged just to unbox it for you. Don't tell anyone, that's a trade secret there. Um, and as you can see here, uh, it's got the same clamp, which is absolutely awesome. I still have the plastic on it, um, but you can see here it's an awesome clamp. It's weighted, so basically how it works is this sits on top of any monitor. Literally, I haven't found a monitor or screen it does not fit on. It will sit on top of it like that. This hooks on, it ra wraps around your curved monitor, and basically it pulls against that and uses the weight of the thing to balance it and keep it so sturdy that like I can shake my screen and it will not fall off. It's incredible. So as you can see here, thank you bit there. Then the other part is the actual dial. Now there's the difference from the other one. This dial, you can turn, you have different settings here. You have the ability to auto dim just like the other one. So it automatically detects the light in your room and basically lights it up or dims it down with whatever. You can see here, it has a little sensor on top. Um, and it has a button to, this button here swaps between two different settings. You can change the actual brightness and also the temperature of the light. So it's really awesome. Again, just quickly show that off. It's really cool. And it's USB powered once again, which is awesome with a USB, uh, micro USB here for the actual screen bar. And then here if we have the actual light bar, which actually a grey this time instead of the black. I I don't know if I prefer the black or the grey. I think they I think this stands out more so people can see it looks like it's actually a part of my environment. But also some people may like a bit more of a sleek feature. But I do like the grey. It looks nice. It's really well done and I think it looks so nice. So here you go. So this is the light bar. Same design, essentially just different colours um, without the buttons on top as well. Because obviously we have the dial for that now so that's really awesome let me just put that back in the package and as you can see it's got some really cool features so i'm going to quickly skip to my intro and then i'm going to also straight after the intro show you a little cinematic clip i'll call it cinematic i mean uh, my limited editing skills clip of this awesome product being on my actual monitor and how it hooks on and stuff like that so let's roll the intro see it looks really cool on top of my monitor it's absolutely awesome and it just works so well um again 
as you can see from the video, the dial, you can actually just twist and turn to change the settings, pressing the buttons and also auto dim, which is, again, the auto dim is just amazing. It basically automatically does the work for you. Um, again, you can change settings to make it easier or better. I do think this one can go brighter than the other light bar. I'm not sure if that's actually true or not, but it just feels, it feels a lot more brighter when I go max settings, or maybe it's just because I can change the temperature, it feels like the temperature changed a lot easier. With this one, with the dial, it's actually a lot easier to decide whether you're going to go bright, or you have, it feels like you have a lot more control, where the other one, you have to press a button and kind of guess where you're going. With this one, the dial just makes it 10 times better. Again, that's the only quarrel I had with the last screen bar was because the touch buttons on top were just not as good as this dial now it's absolutely awesome the screen bar but i just think the screen bar plus is a plus on top of it so it's basically if you have that bit of extra cash then you definitely want to upgrade to the screen bar plus it's great it makes it a lot more intuitive and i love it before we end this video, I just want to say, guys, don't forget to check out the link in the description for the Screen Bar Plus. Now, the Screen Bar Plus is a top-tier product, and I highly recommend it. And I don't just want to say it because BenQ sent me it. I'm generally saying it because I'm reviewing this honestly. It is amazing. I have no issues with this bar whatsoever. It just works. It's space-saving. There's literally the only thing that takes up space is this tiny dial, and I leave that pretty much behind my monitor slightly so it's just slightly sat back it doesn't get in the way at all and it's absolutely awesome the actual screen bar is just a wonderful it lights up the whole area and it just works don't forget to check out the link in the description for that go check it out click on that link um have a look don't have to buy it i mean you could just take a look and have a look at their page where they show off even more features of it and how awesome it is the anti-screen glare and everything like that they explain everything on their website it's awesome. BenQ are absolutely awesome. So thank you, BenQ, for giving me the opportunity to review this product. It's been awesome. And I really hope we could do some more in the future. You know, I need a monitor. Just saying. Uh, yeah. But guys, thank you for giving me that opportunity. It's been absolutely awesome. Thank you. And then, guys, I just want to say we have a Discord community. You can join in, get involved, talk about different things. And also, I'll do a few recommendation product rec recommendations in that video, as well as helping you guys how to code and stuff like that, guys. So again, join the Discord. The link is also in the description of the video um, and don't forget to leave a like on this one smash that subscribe button leave any comments or feedback or if you have any tips for people's eyes drop them in the comments below to help people who work on computers all day because it is a big issue with a lot of people eye doctors um i actually forget their names their actual technical names but eye doctors they you know they don't want to be seeing you every week go, you going my eyes hurt doctor why and they'll be like because you're on a computer all day you know, get yourself a screen bar, get yourself, take regular breaks, drink enough water, make sure your room, your monitor level is at the right height. There's so many different things that really help affect and can really affect your eyes. So have a look into some stuff of like that. I'll try and find some links to put in the bottom of just eye safety and stuff like that. So guys, thank you for watching this video and peace out.